This is the fuel oil system of the diesel locomotive. Before starting the fuel booster motor, ensure that the level of the fuel in the fuel tank is above the danger level. When the fuel booster motor is started, fuel booster pump starts creating a vacuum because of which from the suction line of the fuel tank, fuel oil gets filtered through trap filter and goes into the primary filter. Now, after passing through the fuel booster pump, the fuel oil reaches the relief valve. Relief valve is set at 70 psi and keeps the fuel pressure at 70 psi so that the fuel booster motor does not get pressurized. Relief valve sends the extra fuel oil to fuel tank through the return pipe. And also fuel oil gets filtered in secondary filter. Note, both the primary and secondary filters are paper type filters. After passing through these filters, there is no impurity left in the fuel oil. Now, the purified fuel oil enters the fuel header of the right side of the engine. From here, the fuel oil enters the banjo pipe through the right fuel header and also goes to the left fuel header through the crossover pipe near the R8 cylinder. The regulating valve is fixed with the fuel header on the left side and is always set at 45 to 50 psi. If the fuel oil has pressure of more than 45 to 50 psi, then the fuel regulating valve sends back the extra fuel oil in the fuel tank through the fuel return pipe. In driver's cabin, Pressure gauge is fixed through the gauge pipe from regulating valve which indicates the pressure of the fuel oil system. On starting the engine, fuel oil from fuel injection pump passes the high pressure tube and reaches the injector. Now, from the injector, high pressure fuel oil gets sprayed on the piston with a pressure of 3900 to 4050 psi, because of which fuel gets burnt with high temperature air. In this way, this process is carried out continuously in 16 cylinders of both right and the left sides. Thus, fuel oil system of the diesel locomotive works in this way.